Okay, it is officially iPhone season and I'm back with another unboxing video of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I have it here in the natural titanium with the base storage of 256 gigs. So Apple has bumped up the base storage to 256 gigabyte, but you do have to pay that entry level price of 1200 US dollars. For me, that was not too much of a problem because for my 14 Pro Max, that happens to be the amount of storage that I was using anyway, 256 gigs. So we'll get right into it. Um, I did choose the natural titanium. It's one of the new colors. Usually I go for the black or the graphite, but this year I thought I'd try the lighter color. I did used to have the 12 Pro Max in silver, white silver, and I did like that color. So we, as usual, have two pull tabs. And that's the second one. And we'll go ahead and unbox and see the first impressions. And there it is in the natural titanium color. <laughs> that actually is pretty nice. It's a kind of a gray, silver kind of color on first impression. And let's get it out of the box and hold it for the first time. <laughs> yeah, wow, I can tell that it is lighter. So now, of course, with the 15 Pro Max, we have the titanium sides, which you can see over here, the change in material from stainless steel. And although it's only about a 19 gram difference, which is, I don't know, I think that's like four nickels or two quarters or something like that, the immediate impression is that I can tell that it is lighter <laughs> compared to my 14 Pro Max. Well, the, the difference is not huge, but it definitely definitely is noticeable on the first impression. So um, let's take a closer look at the titanium sides. There is the power button. And of course, the next change on the bottom is the USB-C port with the speaker hole cutout and the microphone cutout. We have the volume buttons, nice as clicky as always on the left side, and the new action button that replaces the mute button. So uh, before we take a closer look at the phone, let's see what's in the box. And we do have a new USB-C to USB-C uh, cable, charge cable, and it is braided, which is nice. So uh, that is one of the things that I'm looking forward to with the 15 Pro Max. Obviously year to year upgrades from uh, for the iPhone and most technology nowadays is not too much. There isn't a lot of changes. So, But um, with the 14 Pro Max, which I didn't review last year, I didn't think there was that many significant changes compared to the 13 Pro Max. There was the Dynamic Island and the 48 megapixel camera. The Dy Dynamic Island was nice, but the camera I didn't think was such a huge bump up. It was still clearly cell phone photography. But this year with the 15 Pro Max, I think Apple have made some nice changes that I'm looking forward to testing out. So we do have the usual paperwork and white Apple sticker, which I never use. Um, if Apple wants to save the environment, maybe they can save some paper and get rid of that uh, sticker. But maybe some of you really like that sticker, so maybe not. Uh, let's set the box to the side. That's all we get as usual. And I will peel off the screen protector. Nice. Uh, and as I speak, I will power that on. So um, yeah. First impression, it is lighter than the 14 Pro Max. Um, I know that Apple have also shaved a tiny bit of height off of it and width off of it by reducing the bezel size. So they've been able to reduce the bezel size and shrink the dimension of the phone very slightly, but that's also appreciated because I do use the Pro Max phones and they are gigantic. So any little bit of weight savings and dimension reduction is appreciated. So here's the first first look with the screen on. It is looking good. So yeah, I'm going to set that up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back having set up the 15 Pro Max. Um, I went ahead and put on a screen protector and I have everything restored and set up. And uh, having handled it for a few more minutes, I have a couple more thoughts uh, that I don't think I mentioned initially, which uh, first of all, of course, is the slightly rounded edges over here compared to the 14 Pro Max, which was pretty sharp on the ends, on the edges, there are 90 degree angles. <clears throat> so Apple have curved it slightly here. Now, if you're someone that wears a case, <laughs> like I always do, I have the much maligned 
fine woven case over here. I always wear a case. If you have a case on, then uh, compared to the previous last few years phones, you won't really notice much of a difference because the case is already kind of uh, softened up the edges over there. But that being said, that does make it nice to handle. Um, the, like I said initially, the lighter weight is noticeable as well. Um, so I do think that those little refinements are kind of nice compared to the 14 Pro Max. Moving on to the natural titanium color itself, usually I go for a darker phone. I have the Space Black here, of course, and I've had the Graphite phones of the past, but the natural titanium color is nice. It's kind of um, kind of like a warm gray. Um, it's mostly gray, but in some light, it does have a little bit of warmth to it. Like if I have the light shining over here, you can see kind of a warm undertone. And of course, natural titanium, um, uh, frame is pretty much kind of the same color as the Apple Watch Ultra. So um, I think that about does it for my first impressions. Um, I do like it. The sides being matte um, does collect some fingerprints that you can see if you look at it up close, but it doesn't get as greasy or shiny as the 14 Pro Max. See, if I rub my finger across, you can see the fingerprints there. But of course, it being matte over here kind of masks that a little bit. So overall, pretty nice. I'm happy with my choice in color. Um, I do think that I will keep the fine woven case as well. And I think that's about it for my unboxing and first impressions. Um, looking forward to using it over the next uh, couple of weeks and most likely for the following year. I don't think that I'll be returning this, planning to give my 14 Pro Max um, onto my wife. Um, so I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the changes and updates and um, maybe I'll have a review video coming up in a few weeks. I hope that helps some of you out there and thanks for watching.